Chapter 1. Traditional Practice of Alternative Medicine As the sun began to set on the small town of Millville, the people slowly started to make their way towards the traditional alternative medicine clinic located at the heart of the city. Mrs. Johnson, a regular patient of the clinic, made her way through the throngs of people, knowing that the clinic's doors would close as soon as the sun completely dipped below the horizon. Mr. Fernandez, the clinic's herbalist, greeted Mrs. Johnson warmly as she entered the clinic. She had been coming to the clinic for two years now, and had seen a significant improvement in her health since starting her herbalism treatment. Mr. Fernandez was the master of his craft, using the power of herbs to treat many ailments. Next, Mrs. Johnson headed towards the acupuncture corner of the clinic, where doctor she placed needles on certain points of her body. The traditional Chinese technique of acupuncture had helped her relieve her chronic pain and headaches, something that Western medicine failed to do. After acupuncture, Mrs. Johnson moved to the meditation area, where she practiced mindfulness with the guidance of the clinic's meditation expert. Meditation had significantly reduced her levels of stress and anxiety and helped her gain clarity in life. Following meditation, Mrs. Johnson moved towards the homeopathy section, where she received a dosage of all-natural, plant-derived remedies from the clinic's qualified practitioner. Not only did homeopathy help her to regain strength, but it also had been a powerful remedy against illness, without any adverse side effects. Aromatherapy was the next stop for Mrs. Johnson, where the essential oils were used to help with ailments such as inflammation and skin irritations. She used it regularly as part of her overall well-being routine. The reflexology section was the next stop for Mrs. Johnson, which helped her with her overall bodily health. Reflexology, a practice that involved massaging the feet, was based on Chinese medicine and had many positive effects. Nutritional therapy helped Mrs. Johnson to understand the significance of wholesome eating habits and helped her make crucial changes in her diet, which also helped other issues such as weight loss. As Mrs. Johnson headed towards the chiropractic section, she realized how different this section was from the rest. Here, instead of being treated with drugs, she was treated through manipulations of her body structure. Dr. Jeller injected energy into her system through simple movements in a natural and holistic approach. Lastly, the nurses carefully placed cups on Mrs. Johnson's body as part of the clinic's cupping therapy regime, popular for the treatment of chronic pain and arthritis. The traditional Chinese medicine had fantastic results for many users, especially when combining other practices such as herbalism and cupping. Feeling relieved and rejuvenated, Mrs. Johnson left the clinic, knowing that traditional alternative medicine has helped her to earnestly manage her health and well-being without the need for pharmaceuticals. It allowed her to explore a range of holistic practices and made her a more informed patient looking forward to her next visit. Question, what are the different types of alternative medicine practices? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Power of Mind-Body Healing As soon as Emily entered the yoga studio, she felt a sense of calm wash over her. The room was decorated with tranquil colors, and the scent of lavender filled the air. She unrolled her yoga mat and sat down, ready for her daily meditation practice. She closed her eyes and focused on her breath, slowly inhaling, and exhaling as she let go of any thoughts that came to mind. She knew that meditation was one of the most powerful ways to quiet the mind and reduce stress. After her meditation, Emily moved through her yoga practice, feeling the movements flow seamlessly from one to the next. She felt a sense of strength and grounding as she held each pose and concentrated on her breath. Yoga, along with many other mind-body practices, had become an important part of Emily S. life. She had found that these practices, including visualization, 
mindfulness, tai chi, hypnotherapy, guided imagery, breath work, biofeedback, and Emder had the power to heal both her mind and body. Emily had first discovered the benefits of these practices when she was dealing with chronic pain. Her doctors had prescribed medications and physical therapy, but she still felt like something was missing. But s when Emily decided to try alternative therapies such as yoga and meditation. She also began seeing a hypnotherapist who used guided imagery to help her manage her pain. Through breathwork and biofeedback, Emily was able to better understand her body's responses to stress and learn how to manage them. Emder helped her process the emotional trauma that had been contributing to her pain. These mind-body practices had not only reduced Emily's pain, but they had also improved her overall well-being. She felt more relaxed, focused, and energized than ever before. As Emily finished her yoga practice and left the studio, she knew that she would continue to incorporate these practices into her daily routine. She believed that everyone could benefit from the power of mind-body healing and hoped to share these practices with others. With each step, Emily felt empowered and in control of her health. She knew that she had the tools to manage any challenge that came her way. The power of mind-body healing had transformed her life, and she couldn't imagine going back to the way things used to be. Question How does mind-body healing work? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3 Alternative Medicine and Chronic Pain Management Pain is an inevitable part of life. Some people have acute pain, which goes away in a few days, while others have to deal with chronic pain every single day. Rochelle was one such person who suffered from chronic pain. She had been to multiple doctors, tried numerous medications, but nothing seemed to work. She was tired and frustrated until she discovered alternative medicine. After extensive research, Rochelle decided to explore acupuncture. She was nervous, but the thought of finding relief from her pain was more important. During her first session, she was surprised when the acupuncturist placed multiple needles in her body. However, she soon felt a sense of relaxation as the needles stimulated her body's natural painkillers. Rochelle decided to try other holistic therapies and found that massage therapy helped, too. It not only helped in reducing her pain, but also had a therapeutic effect on her mind. Soon, she started to feel better, but it was only the start of her journey. Next, Rochelle turned to chiropractic care. She was amazed by how the chiropractor helped her relieve her pain by manipulating her body. The combination of acupuncture, massage therapy, and chiropractic care soon become Rochelle's go-to pain management plan. She also discovered the effectiveness of herbal remedies. These helped her in managing chronic pain without any side effects. Additionally, Rochelle tried magnetic therapy, which used magnets to improve her blood flow, reduce inflammation, and alleviate pain. Rochelle's quest for alternative medicine did not stop there. Heat and cold therapies were also beneficial in her pain management journey. She used a heating pad to alleviate her back pain, while icing her joints helped to reduce inflammation. Additionally, TENS therapy which uses electrical impulses to stimulate nerve endings in the body, was found to be effective in relieving pain. Finally, Rochelle discovered hypnotherapy, which allowed her to tap into the power of her mind to manage pain. Her hypnotherapist helped her redirect her thoughts and minimize pain perception, which resulted in an overall improvement in her well-being. Rochelle's journey in chronic pain management is a testament to the power of alternative medicine techniques. While traditional treatments may not work for everyone, alternative medicine plays an important role in providing quality pain management care. Through her journey, Rochelle found her way back to her life, doing things that she couldn't do before. She found an increased sense of hope and empowerment, which enabled her to enjoy every moment of her life. 
Question, what are some alternative treatments for chronic pain? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Herbal Medicine More Than Just Remedies As trainee herbalist Sarah sat down to her morning cup of tea, she reflected on how far she had come. She had always been interested in natural remedies, but it wasn't until she experienced severe bouts of depression and anxiety that she turned to herbal medicine. The results were impressive. Her mood lifted, and she felt more in control of her emotions. Sarah soon discovered that the benefits of herbal medicine extended beyond mental health. She began to explore how different herbs and supplements could aid digestion, boost immunity, and ease headaches, insomnia, and skin conditions. She was particularly fond of herbal teas, which had a soothing effect on her body and mind. As Sarah delved deeper into the field of herbal medicine, she realized that the key to its effectiveness lay in understanding how different plants worked with the body. Every herb had unique properties, and it was essential to find the right combination to achieve the desired results. She also learned that herbal medicine was not a quick fix. It required patience and, in some cases, long-term commitment. Sarah was particularly impressed with the results she saw in her clients. One client, who had suffered from severe digestive issues for years, found relief after taking a combination of herbs and supplements for just a few weeks. Another client, who had struggled with insomnia, found that drinking a relaxing herbal tea before bed helped her fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. Sarah also learned that herbal medicine was not a substitute for traditional medicine, but could work alongside it. She encouraged her clients to seek medical advice when necessary and worked with doctors to provide holistic care. As Sarah sipped on her herbal tea, she felt grateful for the opportunity to help others find relief through natural remedies. She knew there were still many people who were skeptical of herbal medicine, but she hoped to spread awareness about its benefits. Sarah's journey had been challenging, but it had also been rewarding. Through her work, she had discovered a passion for helping others and had found a way to make a real difference in people's lives. She was excited to continue exploring the world of herbal medicine and was confident that it held many more secrets to health and wellness. Question, what are the benefits of herbal medicine? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, The Role of Acupuncture in Traditional Chinese Medicine Acupuncture has been a fundamental component of traditional Chinese medicine TCM for over 2,000 years. This ancient healing practice centers on the insertion of thin needles into specific, strategic points on the body, known as meridians. TCM practitioners believe that our bodies possess a vital force, known as chi, which flows through these meridians. When the flow of chi is disrupted or impeded, it can result in pain or other chronic conditions. Inserting needles into specific points on the meridians restores the flow of chi, stimulating the body's natural healing processes. Acupuncture's therapeutic benefits extend beyond pain relief. Patients report experiencing stress relief and an improved sense of well-being after treatment. The World Health Organization recognizes acupuncture as a viable treatment for a wide range of conditions, including migraines, allergies, and digestive issues, among others. While different acupuncture techniques exist, the most common method involves inserting hair-like needles into the skin. The needles necessarily cause any pain and are inserted to a depth of only a few millimeters. Some acupuncture sessions also include cupping therapy, which involves placing small cups on the skin to create suction. The suction from the cups is believed to draw out toxins, promote blood flow, and reduce inflammation. In TCM, acupuncture is frequently utilized in combination with herbal supplements to maximize its effectiveness. These supplements might take the form of teas, powders, or capsules and can address a wide range of ailments. 
Herbal remedies might also be used in conjunction with acupuncture to reinforce the flow of chi throughout the body and promote balance. Despite the widespread acceptance of acupuncture in TCM, it has recently drawn criticism from Western medicine experts who question its scientific basis. More specifically, they question the idea of meridians and chi as unproven concepts. However, many Western practitioners have come to embrace acupuncture as a legitimate method of pain relief and stress reduction. Acupuncture has endured for centuries, passing from generation to generation as a testament to its effectiveness. While it remains steeped in Eastern tradition, acupuncture's power to provide relief from chronic conditions and improve our overall sense of well-being has transcended cultural and language barriers. Question, what is acupuncture and how does it work? Check the video description.